I think they made 2K fun again, but I ain't gonna cap this lad. This new patch, this is all gameplay from the new patch that dropped yesterday. I was gonna stream yesterday. Let me know if y'all want me to stream. I always ask y'all. Let me know if y'all want me to stream. I've been thinking about doing like whenever I make a new player streaming the build first and then making a video on it after. So like if you subscribe to me and you watch the stream, you will see the new player. You kind of be like exclusive. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know if y'all want to want me to do that. Look at me hitting the three in the corner. This is my 16 point guard, by the way. My 16 point guard. I said I was gonna drop the video this this past week or this week because I'm making this on Saturday, so it's still this week. But you know, life you know life be life and sometimes you feel me. So yeah, you see me though. I'm going crazy. This is just the intro of the video though. Like this all like post patch. I wanted y'all to see how to build play post patch. The rest of the gameplay in the video is gonna be uh, pre-patch, but yeah, this build can play PG. I've been calling the 16 point guard Lamar Odom build, even though it don't play nothing like Lamar Odom. It's Lamar Odom because he's 16 and can run the point. You feel me? Before we get into the video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, roll to seven billion subscribers. Y'all want everybody in the world to subscribe to me. You feel? I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. But look, you know what I'm saying? Just we just hey, just hit that sub button if you want to watch more videos of mine. Uh, if y'all want me to start live streaming on my new players before I make a video on them, go ahead and hit that like button and uh, or let me know in the comment section. But yeah, let's get straight into it. Don't even worry about why I got headphones on. It's it's look, I, it's to block out the sound. You know, it's so much noise. And hold on, real quick. That's why I got the headphones on. I ain't gonna care why it's so loud in the park. As you can see, I'm a 94, but I just recently upgraded this player to a 94. In the gameplay, I was a 92 overall. And the only difference between what I um, could do in the gameplay and what I can do now is my dunk is high. I had like a 45 dunk, now I got a 60. I went on here to max it out so I can get the dunk animations. But here go all the stats right here. If you wanna make this build exactly, just copy everything up there at the top in the gray. Stay tuned to the end of the video if y'all wanna see a a different version of this build. It's got a higher mid range to, so you can get better jump shots and things of that nature. Here go all my badges. You can see by the spider grab. That is build just a way around the build just based off of this right here. Here go all my badges. C tier badges, B tier badges, A tier badges, and S tier badges. I did end up buying some level skips so I ain't gonna get that uh, floor setter. Here go all my animations right here. If y'all wanna um, use my animations, just go ahead and screenshot. Um, yeah, just screenshot this right here if y'all want to use them or whatever y'all need to do. Pause the video, whatever y'all need to do. Here go the jump shot I was using in the video. Tony Kukoc, Alex Lynn, Alex Lynn. Quick tip for y'all, Alex. If you 16 plus and you and you a shooting build, Alex Lynn releases speed up your jump shot. So uh, put Alex Lynn in your jump shot if you want your jump shot to be a little quicker. All right, now we on to this gameplay. You heard me? I don't even know what I'm talking about, bro. I'm just gonna chill this video, you feel me? This 16 build, I know you probably looking like, bro, what you mean you couldn't shoot before the patch? Bro, I couldn't. Like, I don't know what it was with 2K, but this last patch, but it was so inconsistent. It's like one game I'd be playing like this. Do you see what I'm shooting? Like, I'm just pulling, playing my game. And then the next game, I shoot 3 for 12. It's like, bro, like, what the word? And you doing the same exact thing, bro. Like, that really be getting on my nerves. You see me post fade. But real quick though, if you ever drunk a cup of coffee in your life, go ahead and like what? What? If you ever drunk a cup of coffee in your life, go ahead and hit that like button. You feel me? But uh, yeah, this I don't know why 2K so inconsistent was so inconsistent. We we played like maybe like five red games yesterday. We didn't lose a single game. It was games where I wasn't shooting good, but I felt confident in taking the shots. As you see, we in the red now. This right here was my first ever on like first game ever on this player online right here. This was my first game when where that first clips was. This right here, I don't know when this was, but you see me right here doing step backs in the rig. I had I played a lot of rig with this player with randoms because I just feel like this is the ultimate glue guy type of build. This build fits in with every like any I feel like you can put this player in any type of lineup. And it's gonna be decent. You gonna you can play defense. You can shoot. You can create your own shot. You can block shots. You can play like you can pass. You can uh, run. You can push point, push ball, whatever you want to call it. 
You can do everything. Now we back to the 2v2, 2k15. You see me? I was cook. Hey, real quick, I was cooking this dude. Look at the shooting percentage. I don't. I, I don't think I missed no more shots. Like once I missed them couple shots at the beginning, I'll just say I'm back shooting 25 percent from the field. So I lied to y'all. But look, as you can see me, I was like really just feeling this player out. Like this was really me getting like real accustomed to this player because I was ready to what? I was ready to delete. Do delete? Okay. I was ready to delete this player bro like i was finna delete this player i just was like bro i couldn't do it and as you've seen in the earlier clips i had on a different jump shot don't even worry about what the jump shot is it's trash but i'll let you know it's now it's read base that's all i'm gonna say because i don't know if too much if you want to use it but it's now it's read base if you didn't if you wanted to know what that jump shot was that i was using but this right here this like i had all the current animations that i got on when i showed y'all at the beginning of the video but uh yeah I don't even know what I was talking about, but look, we just chilling though. You feel me? And I'm gonna, uh, I don't even, what I was finna say, but you see, said hit him with the step back. Said starting to get into his little Duffy too. We ain't gonna say nothing. We ain't gonna speak too much on that though. You feel me? We ain't gonna speak too much on that. But yeah, I'm about to show y'all the other version of the bill. Post commentary me is gone, but live commentary me finna end up. So yeah, go. Make this player, I would drop the free throw down to 78 from an 80. Cause it really don't change. You still get the same animations between a 78 and 80. So I would just drop it down to a 78 and get that Joel Embiid layup package. Then I would drop perimeter defense down to from an 82 to an 80. And then I would drop my acceleration down from a 69 to a 65. And then that would open you up some room to get, I mean, I, I put my free throw up to a 94 from a 92. But that'll give you some room to put your, your mid range up. Now what you put your mid range up to is up to you. Mine is 85, but if you go 86, 86 will get you Hall of Fame, post for 8 feet on, and it'll get you go open looks. So if you want to do that, you can do that. 87 mid-range gets you KD jump shot. Like, I feel like all the big man jump shots right now are not good, 16 and up. So if you wanted the actual good jump shot to be and still be tall, 87 mid-range would be what you want to go for 87 three pointer whichever one that you can obtain you know what i'm saying i would say go for um to get that kd jump shot or you can go with an 88 and 88 only just it just makes you if you make a kd custom you can you can have room to make the jump shot better and still be able to equip it so I, you can go to 88 and it also gets you gold green machine but yeah this is what i do if i was to remake this build and Oh, it actually changes the name from a diamond, in, what was it, diamond mid, mid range threat or whatever it was, to now being called Inside the Arc Maestro. So, both of the names, five. It's up to you. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want more videos on this player, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, yeah, see y'all in the next one.